In this episode of the Android Video App Tutorial Series, we need to set up the media recorder. This needs to be done prior before we can actually record and save a video. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. Okay, so this is actually the last configuration we need to do prior to actually save, recording and saving videos. And that's to set up the media recorder. But before we can actually configure the media recorder, there's just a couple of other things that I need to do before that. So let's make a start. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I need to pass in a rotation hint to the media recorder. So I need to set that member as um, global to the activity. Okay, so let's find out where to put that. I might just put it under preview size. And it's going to be an int. Remember, let's just call it total rotation. And Let's now go into our setup, set up camera, I believe it's called. So here's the total rotation member, which is local to this method. Um, let's swap it with the new me member we just created. And fix those two warnings. Okay, that's done for that. So we can now provide M total rotation to our media recorder setup. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to pass the video size to our media recorder setup as well. So let's set up our media size. So let's go to the preview size here. So if I just go down here, um, I'm just going to create a M video size member. Will be a size, and just call it member video size. And let's go back up into the setup. Okay, let's see where I've okay. So on this line here, we can now see where we set our preview size. So we do something very similar for the video size. In fact, I'm just going to paste that line, let's change the name. And we need to replace the surface texture, texture class with the media recorder class. What happened there? Okay, so it'll be a media recorder and that provides us with a class. And everything else can stay the same with the way we've set up this application. Okay, so we've now set up our rotation and our video size required to actually set up the media recorder. Now we need to actually create a media recorder. Um, we're probably going to have to do that in a couple of places mainly because just to support our uh, Marshmallow runtime permissions. But let's set up the first setup in on create method. And I'll probably just put it here fact, I do believe I need to create a media recorder member first. I'll probably put that under preview size, under video size. And it's, this is going to be a media recorder, and I'm just going to call M media recorder, or M media recorder. Now we can initialize that in on create. Um, so M media recorder. We've now initialized the object. Now we can actually cr let's create a member where we actually 
set up all the settings for the media recorder. I'll probably do that at the bottom here. Create a new method. Make that void. Um, I'll just call it setup media recorder. Okay, now you do have to take special care when you're actually calling, setting up the configuration. It sort of has to be done in a certain order. I found that out to my own detriment where I just tried to memorize them all, but they came out in a different order and it didn't work. So I'm going to use my website as a reference here. My website posting article as a reference here, just so I get the order right. My website, I'll just scroll down. So the configurations would have been done. Okay. So set up media recorder, okay, uh, we want to throw an exception and set the video source and output format. So let's put a throws there, good practice. And it's called M media recorder. Set video source, I believe. If we call media recorder again. video source and this will be surface okay and output format and output file output format that mpeg4 and set the output file and this will be m video file name from a couple of tutorials back I believe okay okay so let's do the encoding and the frame rate Set video coding bit rate. I believe this is a million. And set video encoding frame rate. Well, I'm just going to keep this as a standard 30 frames per second. Okay, there we go here. And now we set the video size and set video encoder. Notice how it takes width and the height. So I've got those values now because we set up the video size. So we'll just get width and do the same for get height. And what was the next one? Set encoder. Media recorder video encoder and I'm going to go for the H264 so you can see there's quite a few settings here and finally that's the orientation hunt orientation hunt there and we've got the M total rotation we just set up before to make it available and finally it's going to be M media recorder and prepare. Okay, and I will stop the tutorial here because um, the next step is actually getting it configured, which is another tutorial in itself. So with this tutorial, we just learnt um, we we had to set up a couple of things: the rotation and the video size first, and then pass that into our setup media recorder. And as you can see here, there's a number of settings here that you have to add that um, most of them, I believe, are required. And you need to take care in the certain order that you put these in as well. Just don't try and memorize them and put them in a different order, as I did. Um, you'll have problems. So um, try and follow this order as well. 
Anyway, that concludes this tutorial. If you want to get notified of the following tutorial or any other tutorials that I'm working on, don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to keep up to date in the, the news and tribulations and everything else in the world of mobile application tutorials, um, I do keep all my social media accounts that are surrounding me up to date. And don't forget, just above me is a link to my website as well. And that tends to be where everything is collated together. So not only can you watch the video there, you can see a description of the code changes made below. And it also show uh, where the uh, uh, code has been put in GitHub as well. Anyway, that's all for this one. Bye for now.